wields the flames of destruction. Luo Yang burns. Chaos ignites as the power of the Unix is crushed. In the pyre, the hand falters. Opportunity glimmers in the darkness. One's weakness is another's strength. Cao Cao observes and prepares. The moment approaches. Order will be restored, no matter the cost. China is in turmoil. The great empire of the Han, stretching back ages beyond counting, is being devoured by corruption. The yellow turbans, thousands strong, began raising their banners in rebellion and seizing commanderies across the realm. In response, generals loyal to the emperor rose up and put down the rebellion. Yet despite the victory, the flames have run their course. Luo Yang is nothing but rubble now. It is the work of the tyrant Dong Zhuo, who now wields power unchecked. He absconds with the emperor in tow. He is barbaric, but not altogether unwise. As long as he controls the court, he controls the empire. In peace, I shall be an able subject. In chaos, a crafty hero. What of the coalition, my lord? They have... The coalition is finished. They have lost their bite. But perhaps they can be rallied into something resembling their old strength. It seems that I must be the blade of China's justice. There is no other who can. Man's span of life, whether long or short, depends not on heaven alone. Not today. I will rid China of warlords. No. Restore harmony. China is in chaos. Yet through this chaos, I have found opportunity. These people, 
These bickering people, they stack so well. It makes them easier to order, to control. I alone will bring peace to China. Those who stand against me will vanish. your heart! Your words are as pathetic as you are. Need some help? Amazing that you can both talk and battle!
unit flees! What cowards! Go on, keep up. I know you can do it. If only wars were won with witty words. 